this is code.org and this looks interesting. This app, uh, do this. This app has the users add their grades and then we'll calculate their average grade. Read and run the code to understand how it works. All right, run. Okay, add my grade. We'll say uh, 88. And then I did real well, 97. Okay, now what? Calculate average. And just one more. Okay, 95. Add. Calculate, calculate. Oh, so add code, so it doesn't calculate yet. Okay, that makes sense. Test your program on a few different numbers. Got it. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Uh-huh, so add grade button, that works fine. The grade does get added. How does it do that? We do a variable new grade, we get number grade input. So this must be grade input. Yep, it grabs the grade input, smacks it into that variable. We then say add to our list, our grade list, which is right here, the new grade. So we push that into our new list. Now average the grade. Add code here to make it, okay. So average grade button, click. So when we click that, it wants us to average the grade. How do we do that? Well, we need to go through and add up their current grades. So I'm gonna use a loop, right? Four I is equal to zero, I is less than four, I plus plus. So we're gonna loop through all the grades. Now, they've been using a variable. So I guess I'll do that. Um, I'll just say variable grade. And then I'm going to say grade is equal to grade list I. Okay. Grade is equal to grade list I. Now, with that there, we want to use this. So I'm grabbing the grade at each index, right? So grade list is empty, but let's say I have a 95 and an 87 in here. Well, I starts at zero, okay? I is go going to be less than four. We want to make sure though, not less than four. We need to make sure that it's less than the grade list, grade list dot length. Cause we don't want I to try to look for or try to loop through our list when nothing's there. So I must be however long, less than however long this list is. And each time we'll add one to I. So is zero less than however long our grade list is? Sure, we'll say we have two things. So we dip down and run the loop. Grade list I, what's I? Zero. So we get the item, index zero, the first item in this list. Then what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna add it. Add it to what? Let's go ahead and have a, um, I'll name this total here. And then total is gonna be equal to, oh, I should have it equal to zero so we can use it right from the start. Total is equal to zero. Total will be equal to whatever total used to be equal to plus that new grade we just grabbed, okay? So we're adding up. Total is gonna be equal to whatever it used to be equal to plus grade. And then once we loop through the entire list using I, right, using this for loop, once we get to the end, we stop and we go down here. What will we need to do here? Well, we need to get that average. I guess I'll create another variable just for clarity. How do we get the average? Average is gonna be our total divided by what? Well, how many grades did we have? Easy way to get that is grades list dot length. That's how many grades we had. Now, what do we need to do? Where do we output this? Oh, and then we need to set it. Okay, so what's this? ID average grade, what do they do? Your average grade, 30, okay. So now we need to set it in here. So we're gonna do UI controls set text and what's that text going to be equal to well uh design average grade label so i need to do average grade label and it's not going to be equal to text here right it's going to be equal to well we can use that your average grade colon and i'm going to put a space plus whatever my average variable is equal to plus average, let me do that. Your average grade plus average, what's this saying? Grade list hasn't been declared yet. Grades list, oh, whoops, there we are. Grades list is what we need there. So this should allow us to loop through the entire list, grab each grade, add that grade to our total. Once we hit the end of the list, because we're doing list that length, right? I stops counting up because I is equal to the length of the list. 
So this says, is that less than false? We drop below. We have a variable average. Average is equal to that total that we just looped through and calculated divided by the length of the list. So divided by how many grades we have, which would equal the average. We then set the text of the average label. We concatenate the string, right? We're grabbing this text, your average grade. We're using it and saying smash that into whatever our average is and push it onto here. Let's check it out. 85 and I'll do 100 and let's show that. Yep, that would be correct, right? And then let's do a 95, add that. Yep, and we there are ways we could even put a round on there. Um, let me use grades that are more obvious. Let's do a 100, a 90, uh, calc, and then an 80. So now the average would be 90. Yeah, cool, super cool. Let's just make sure. Yeah, we got it. We could also make that text bold if you want it to look like theirs. That we would just do though in design mode. Awesome, let's keep going.